What's going on, guilty guys and gals? Welcome back to your turn today. This is going to be very loud for you guys, so I'm going to turn that down a little bit. I mean, shouldn't have done that, because I'm just going to turn it down in post, but whatever. I feel good about it. <laughs> um, so we talked to Kana. Uh, so I guess we're moving around, huh? Talk to Hayasaka. Let's see if anybody's at the police station. <clears throat> oh my god, that is scary. <laughs> it's dark! But I'm using my dark vision to shoot super thoroughly. He's really darting around. <laughs> Gein, are you searching on your own? Careful now. I'm okay. I'm searching in cat mode. <laughs> oh? Cat mode? Yeah. If a cat senses danger, they can get away super nimbly. I see. On the other hand, they're fickle, so they're not suited for searching. That's a pretty big drawback. But Sarah, you should use it too, when the time calls for it. Woof. He just woofed. <laughs> That's not very cat mode of you. Hey, Gein, let's delve into the probes of your mind. Hey, Gein, can we talk about your lost memories? Sounds like a complicated subject. Woof. They're surely memories of ours that were erased. We have to get them back. How can we remember if they were erased, man? He looks so happy. <laughs> um, well, people's memories don't completely vanish. Got it, now. Your reaction was funny, so I'll work with you. Ugh, he asked that knowingly? Bitch, it's Sarah. Start from wherever, now. Alright. Ba -ba -ba -ba. What is this? I guess it's a clinic, maybe. Oh, it says infirmary right there. I think I figured out the mystery. Anyway. So remember to see for me, we was in the infirmary at school now. It feels like it was fun, or maybe scary. It's kind of hard to remember. Well, I want to remember it properly and clear it up now. Well then, let's give it a try. Alright, was it an infirmary? Alright, I forgot I have to click around to get it to actually work. Okay, well he was wearing his costume. <laughs> Gein, could you remember yourself a little more? Of course, now. I mean, when it's myself. Bitches, Sarah. Woof. I, I lied, meow. <laughs> Back then, I was wearing the same outfit I am now. Woof. It's kind of weird seeing Gein without the outfit, honestly. Why are you apologizing? Sure, it's uncommon to go to school in an outfit like that, but... Oh, um, I'm okay now. But I used to not be able to go out if I wasn't wearing this. Yeah. Must have been cold. Why is that? Because... You don't want to say? Sorry. Yeah. I know I decided not to keep secrets from you, Big Sister. You can tell me anytime you want to, Gein. No matter what it is, it won't make me hate you. Big Sister? Now I love you, but that's how I guess definitely the truth. Woof. <laughs> and the same to you, Gein. Whoa, she's winking? What the hell happened to her since the last update? She got way more confident. <laughs> yeah. I never paid it much mind before, but maybe that outfit. Whoa, I like this one. It could be very important to knowing Gein. True. Was there a lady back there? There was, and she's also holding a red pail, but the butterfly is different. Seems to be much more well-drawn. Could you remember this part a little more? Roger, meow. That's a picture I drew. Really? You're talented. <laughs> huh? I never drew a picture of a butterfly. Yeah, okay. Uh, that was a picture of a butterfly your teacher brought. Meow. It was really sucky drawing, like a big ink stain. Uh, is it a Rorschach? An ink stain? I feel like I've seen this kind of picture before. My pictures are way better. <laughs> but Sarah, we should draw portraits of each other someday. Woof. Well now, I wonder. You don't wanna? <laughs> no, not at all. I'll look forward to it. Yay! I just hope he doesn't cry when he sees it. <laughs> oh dear. So if there's a Rorschach, is this like a psychological evaluation? Of course the man is Beanie Man. We all saw that coming, but that's kind of odd. Could you remember this part a little more? Meow, all memories on deck. Meow. Oh, 
But Cesara, I think I might have remembered something important. Woof. Huh? It was posted up there. You know, the consent form. The consent form? I don't know why I forgot, you know, but thinking back now, it was the same one. Woof. Maybe I, but uh, why? Calm down. Take it slow. I... Okay, that's something. We'll, talk, we'll do Beanie Man last for dramatic effect. No, that is in there. I thought that was a thermometer. Uh, never mind, it is not. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, there was no medical box here. It was a briefcase? Yeah, you're right. It's really big for a first aid kit. Woof. Oh yeah, I remember. Woof. It wasn't a first aid kit. I think it was a speaker. Oh. So it was like a, a white stereo. I thought that was like a handle and, you know. Teacher always said it would help me react to playing music while we talked. Woof. Which means they were discussing things that made him nervous? Yeah. We talked about school and home and all sorts of stuff. I wonder, the situation I'm looking at, is it Keen getting counseling? What is it? No, it's nothing. Yeah, that's... Hmm. I think that's the same. Like, it's clearly more pronounced here, but I think that's because it's slightly bigger. Hmm. That's weird. What is this? There's like a chest in there. Yeah, no, no, got it. Hold on. Woof. Ah, come to think of it. I feel like there was a black safe there. When teacher talked to me, he'd always take out papers and write on them. He wouldn't show me what he wrote, so I wonder what it was. Woof. He kept it hidden from you? Yeah, I kind of didn't like it. Because it was like I was being observed. An observation log? Surely not. Ugh. What a shock. Gein is a troubled child. But no one could have predicted this. Uh, okay, well, let's do Beanie Man. That way I'm sure if I've got everything or not. Now, it wasn't really an outfit. Just a regular suit like grown-ups wear. But the doctor lady had a white gown, so it's weird how teacher wore a suit. Woof. Maybe because you didn't work in the infirmary? What is that look? I don't like that one. Fine, the face. I have to click on the face specifically. <laughs> Give it to me now. Um, let's see. Huh? Strange. No? The doctor's face. It's the same as Beanie Man's. Woof. Why? No? Is, is that possible? Woof. Calm down, Gene. We talked about all sorts of stuff together. You know, all about fun stuff and the less fun stuff. I thought he was a good person for always hearing me out. Woof. But teacher, was that guy? <laughs> Even though he did all that stuff, he kidnapped me and made me have to do this. Woof. That's so cruel. <laughs> so cruel. Keen, stay with me. Just hang on. All I could do was hug him until he stopped shaking. But Sarah. Thanks. Sorry. I shouldn't be digging up lost memories, should I? No, I wouldn't know. Maybe I was being tricked, but I wouldn't know what's a lie and what's real. Bitch, Sarah, work with me. Again. Okay, so there's more. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, hmm. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a faucet here, and there isn't here. Oh, I guess it's not a faucet. Could you remember this part a little more? Leave it to me, meow. Hmm, it's pretty minor, but I was kind of curious about something. Woof. That's it, meow. I know what it was. Woof. There was an unfamiliar pen in the pen holder. Meow. An unfamiliar pen? I go to the infirmary all the time, so I would know. Woof. <laughs> great. The pen the usual infirmary person doesn't use. It only showed up when that teacher was there. No. I know. Wah, that pen. What? This is a new sprite too. 
that's actually got a hidden camera. Say what? Spy stuff with some secret special service something from another country was targeting me. Now that I think about it, wasn't I actually being targeted? Woof. What sounds like a joke could entirely be true. Okay, that's everything. I remember everything. My real, real memory was like this. Woof. Um, so the thing is, I don't really get all the details, but I have this sort of condition called autism. Oh. If I don't wear this, I feel really embarrassed and I get nervous. Woof. I know it's weird. It's okay. There's nothing weird about that. Really? That's good. But he was the one who was all nice and told me I could get better. Woof. Mm. I'll be able to get along with everyone? Yeah. Sounds fine, Woof. There's lots of guys I don't like, but it's not like I don't want to play with them. That's the spirit, Gene. You'll get used to everyone little by little, and you'll make more friends. I hated school myself. I was quick to... Ki uh, to fight with people, so I didn't have any friends. Oh, this poor lad. Huh? A delinquent? I thought you were better than that, Woof. <laughs> I'm sure you'll grow up right, Gene. Your mother's delighted, too. Really? Meow. She doesn't think I'm a weird kid it's too much trouble? Woof. She always sounds happy when she tells me about you. <laughs> I may grow up quick and be a man who mom could depend on. Woof. Oh, really? I wonder. Should I teach you the Asinaro vow? What's that? Meow. It goes like this. What I want to be today, Asinaro, tomorrow I will be. If you write your name on this paper, I hear you can have any one wish guaranteed. Really? Meow. It's magic paper? Woof. What do you want to wish for? Well, obviously it's for Mom to be healthy and live a long life. Meow. Huh? You sure you don't want to make a wish for yourself? You'll be great on my... I'll be great on my own power. Woof. But if mom isn't there with me, then I won't be able to show her. You really are a good kid, Gein. <laughs> I mean, I just love my mom. Okay. I signed this. Oh, is that paper? Whoops, I clicked on... Oops, there we go. <laughs> if I'm going through this now because of that, it's just awful. If I make mom sad, there's no point. Woof. This was Gein's erased memory. We'll definitely make it home. Yeah. Big sister Sarah and everyone else. We won't sacrifice anybody. Woof. Right. Okay, so all you Gein mastermind theorists. Boom. <laughs> I don't think it's. I don't think it's happening. We'll defeat Beanie Man no matter what. Um. So, have you noticed? Maybe it's just because they're both children, and when we get to the other people, things will change. But in both Kana and Gein's, and even Rico's um, encounters with Beanie Man, the one thing they all did is they signed the Asunara vow for someone else. Kana wanted her sister to be happy. Gein wanted his mom to be happy. Rico wanted Alice to be happy. So I have a feeling they were looking for selfless people, right? For this kind of thing. So that they wouldn't have one person that would just betray everyone um, to try to survive. They wanted a game, essentially. Um, even So, or Shin, I guess. Um, even he, in the end, was willing to work with us. The only reason he wasn't was because of what they told him, right? I wonder if... Because Beanie Man said his spot got taken when he got accidentally killed by Alice or whatever. So I wonder if the whole thing was going to be like a like a game for him, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like us against him the whole time. And then now it's finally sort of coming to that conclusion. Strange. Anyway, is there anybody down here? Oh, Rico. Sarah, hey. She's surveying the room with a serious look. Let's talk first, of course. Have you found anything, Rico? 
Nah, nothing. But I'm kind of curious about this room. Curious? There was a transceiver and a voice recorder here, right? Y yes I'll tell you if I figure it out. Just hold on till then, Sarah. All right, well, let's... Rico, can we talk about your lost memories? Sarah, you mean... We have to remember them so we can stand against Beanie Man. Yeah, I guess you're right. Gotta say, it's scary. Like, maybe I did something irredeemable in the past. But damn it, I want to know. I want to clear this fog clouding up my mind. I'll assist you, so you work with me, all right? Course. Do you think, Sarah? <laughs> Jump scare. <laughs> oh, very interesting. The memory that's tripping me up. It's got to be at that cafe when the photo was taken. I swear I only went to that place with a bandmate. What the hell could have happened? I want to go back and remember it clearly. Well, then let's give it a try. I... I, the guitar case definitely was a guitar case, but I had a feeling this was going to be different. I thought it was like a black bass case, actually. <laughs> anyway. Could you remember this part a little more? Yeah, give me a sec. Uh, wait, huh? That, that ain't a guitar case. It was a big suitcase. We were talking about music. Because what came out of that briefcase wasn't an instrument at all. Seeing what was inside, it made my tears well up. I remember feeling like total shit. R Rico. Sorry, I'm remembering in bits and pieces. Work with me a little longer, Sarah. Right. We just started, okay. So obviously the man is being man. Um, and Rico is sad. Also, it's not music on the table. Let's, let's start with the music. Seems how we already did the guitar case. Alright, I'll try. That's not it. This wasn't his sheet music. They were articles about Alice's case. And it wasn't me who brought him either. It was him, the guy I met with. He brought him to show me. Huh? Seeing those articles talk like it was funny. It made my damn blood boil. And I got so upset I started crying. Because Alice was being derided? Yeah. Whether it was me wanting to stick up for him, or if I was pissed on Alice's behalf, I don't know. Damn it! So was this connected to Alice's incident? Alright, well, let's do Rico herself, then. Myself? Actually, I don't think I was feeling all that good about the meeting then. In fact, I... I was crying listening to him. Maybe hopeful, maybe hopeless. It was something I didn't want to believe. That's right. I feel like I was clinging to him. What a goddamn miserable feeling. Why'd I forget something like this? True. It's hard to imagine Rico doing something like that. Do, 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 do. Okay, what about the book? Yeah, okay, never mind. Just because it's colorful, I thought, you know, maybe. Oh, I thought there were music notes coming out of this. It's a chair. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's just the ivy. Uh-huh. There's a security camera. Hmm. Huh? Sh sure. Oh yeah, actually that wall. Might have had a security camera on it. Well, but there ain't one when I went before. Until that incident with Alice happened. The murder case. Was there a security camera in the frickin' ice cream shop? There probably was, right? Because Gein had the camera in the pan. And now this one just showed up, so they were recording all their meetings with people, too. Hmm. Which means they installed a security camera because of that incident. The whole conversation between these two was being recorded? Probably is for use as a motive, right? Do, 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 do. As always, I'm probably missing something small, but let's get the Beanie Man thing out of the way. Yeah, uh, I think I met with a member who, to talk about the band. No, that can't be it. No, it wasn't a bandmate I was with. I was meeting, meeting with Beanie Man. What the hell? How'd I forget something like that? What did you and Beanie Man even discuss? Shit, what was it? 
the hell was I talking to him about? No, wait. There's still nothing else it could be. Alice, we were talking about his murder case. Damn it, but I can't remember our conversation. P please, calm down. Let's just take this slow. Y yeah, you're right, Sarah. Alright, there's more. Of course there is. Do, 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 do. Uh, hmm. Where else could there be? Well, <laughs> maybe it's just off screen. I can't really tell, but there's two long vines that aren't here in this one. That's a tough one. I'm on it. I think uh, this wasn't quite it. That's it. The vines here got shortened. If I remember right, they changed it to get rid of the blind spots so people couldn't see. Wonder why. It feels like that would change the mood. It could be effective for preventing crime. Maybe. There was that incident, after all. Were they long at the time of Alice's incident? <laughs> I love how they refer to it as an incident. Like, we don't all know what happened, <laughs> even if it was fake. Um, I can't believe that was actually a something. Do, 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 do. Uh, coffee's on the table. Yeah. Uh, there's two coffees being served here. There's the coffee there, the guy reading the red book. Uh, the no, that's just covered by Rico, who's moved now. <laughs> uh, the foliage, maybe. I don't see anything out of place. Oh, it's the wall. What the heck? Oh, that's that's a window. How the hell is that a window? What? How does that work? I'm sorry. I thought like, okay. I thought that like, they say this is a wall, but it looks like it like curves back. So I thought this was like a, I guess this is all a window. These are like the buildings outside behind them. Oh my God. I didn't realize. <laughs> I thought for sure that um. this was like a little greenhouse <laughs> looking thing. That was attached to the building because there's all these plants here. I thought you could like keep walking this direction and then go into that where all these people are. Like it's a club. Uh, maybe this is where you take your order and then you come sit over here. Uh, and that this was just like a little ivy whatever next to this building. But nope. <laughs> that's a giant window. The weather, huh? Wonder if that's something. Uh, come to think of it, yeah, that ain't it. The weather that day was real awful. I think I said something like, whether it's rains or snows, meet with me. Wonder why. That was weird for me to say, but I ain't one to show that kind of concern for a man. Must have been pretty important. Shit, what the hell happened? It's alright. Let's take it one step at a time. Right. Counting on you, Sarah. Yeah, okay. Interestingly, the weather, or like the time of day, was changed in two out of these three memories so far, too. Maybe just to seem less out of the ordinary to them like in Kana's it's because they usually she'd be eating ice cream on the way home when it was bright out not when sun was setting and Rico it was a terrible weather day and it would be weird for her to say something like that but if it was nice out then maybe she wouldn't think about it as much you know I don't know seems kind of like extra weird but you never know I got it now I remember everything my real memory went like this. I wasn't trying to meet with a band member at all. It was a guy I happened to know in town, Beanie Man. He contacted me saying I know the truth about Alice's case. I was so torn up then, body and soul, that I went ahead and met him. The hell do you mean, false charges? Alice didn't kill him? Not so loud. It was an accident, it's true. Then... Why won't they acquit him? Who knows? Don't you think it's strange how they aren't reporting any info on the victim? The world is convinced a drug addict band member committed murder and insults your family name. There's a powerful force trying to bring ruin to your family. 
You gotta be shitting me. What, what the hell do we... Don't cry, Miss Rico. Our organization can help you out. Huh? How? You'll need to prepare yourself. I want you to sign your name on this paper. What? Consent form? The Asinaro vow. It can grant you one wish. Anything you desire. The hell are you... Sorry. I guess you wouldn't just believe me, would you? I'll just call the whole thing off. Wait! Release Alice! I want to meet him and ask him about everything. At this rate, I'm just going to resent him. All right, Miss Rico. Wipe your tears. I'm your only ally. Okay. Thank... thank you. Hmm. I signed it. The consent form. And I even goddamn thanked him. This was Rico's erased memory. What kind of reunion? I never wanted it to be like this. Losing all my precious memories. The hell was I supposed to say? Rico. All I could do was support Rico as she feebly stood there. Feebly? <laughs> I don't know about that. Sorry, Sarah. I got all emotional. And now we leave. Have fun dealing with your emotions. And Nako? I see. Notice anything, Hinako? You know, Sarah Senpai. You think the breaker was shut off? Wouldn't the lights be off? Well, I guess the breaker just specifically the elevator, maybe. Eh? The breaker for the elevator was on floor four. You mean... Did someone downstairs do that? Maybe Mai? Or Kyutaro? Surely not Keiji. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who did it or why, but watch your back, Sarah Senpai. <laughs> Very cool. Take a look at this lantern, Hanako. What? I don't have that kind of time. Oof, she's just not having it. So we're just not going to get the dolls, is what I'm respecting. Did I go here? No, I didn't. Can I look at this yet? Maybe there was some way to remove it. Uh, okay, nope. <laughs> Who's in here then? This is the last place. Hello. Oh, nope, this wasn't what I was trying to get to. Sarah, did you find a way to activate the elevator? No, how about you? I'm looking for some kind of switch, but uh, no. But this broadcast equipment seems to work. Should we ask Maple? Hmm, could be bad if we accidentally agitated her. I guess so. I'm going to look at these machines some more. Come in here if you need me, Sarah. Who did I miss? Did I not shine Hayasaka with a light? I think I didn't think he wanted. I don't think he wanted it, right? Yeah, no, the dolls don't want to do it. Um I don't think I've missed anywhere. I can't go down here, so. Did you figure anything out? You're almost done with that? Well, it's so complex. My head's sort of overheating. Should I have her stop? <laughs> okay, so not that. I didn't go in here, to be fair. Anzu? Hey, um, are you okay? She's checking up on Kuramata. How is he, Anzu? He kind of seems to be getting better bit by bit. He keeps asking, don't you want to charge, though? So Kuramata can be kind to his fellow dummies. But passing around the same charger feels kind of embarrassing. You're the same as ever, Anzu. In a good way, right? Right, Sarah? <laughs> no! I'm like, not good with that stuff. <laughs> what? That's a reason? Do they, do they know something? The hell? Need the time to worry about me, is it? He seems... Seems like he's talking more. How are you feeling? Not too terrible. 
Seems he's charging up well. Can we use the lantern on him? <laughs> Sorry to say, but I can't see too well. Wonder if his eyes took some damage too. No, it's just, you know, they probably need a lot of power. <laughs> I'd imagine, giving their like giant cameras. Um, then what? Oh, now I can talk to him. Oh, very, very good. <laughs> hey, Renmaru, about upgrade parts. Sorry, let me check things out here some more. Ugh. There we are. Gein's searching alone with the police box. Do you want to keep an eye on him, just in case? Is that a, is that a hint of something? Hey, I'm busy. Try it out on one of the others. Dang, so blunt. <laughs> something happened to you, Gein? You okay? Yeah, you're fine. He's really darting around. Safety first. Leave it to me. What? Meow. Hard police car. I'm still missing some people, right? This isn't all of us, was it? Maybe I just got to use this in some place. Oh! The room changed. He seems surprised. <laughs> Remember, gain safety first. Leave it to me. What? Meow. The lantern's light is revealing the interior. Wow, you can even see the posters and such. Wanted. Shinobu G Gokujo. Hades Incident Refugee. Let us know if you have a finger on his whereabouts. Why is finger highlighted? Hades Incident? <laughs> Gein, what's wrong? Hades Incident? That was the murder spree between Yakuza a long time ago. <laughs> Why do you know that, Gein? I don't know, Wolf. I just suddenly remembered. Is it because of the lantern? Someone told me. The, pers the person surviving that incident took control of the underworld. Or what? <laughs> Education these days, huh? Yin, good job remembering. Maybe that's one of your lost memories. Bitch is Sarah. Still wanted, huh? That means Asanara is looking for this person. If you have a finger on the criminal, hmm? Oh? The finger part is bulging out a little. When I touched the text, there was a clicking sound. Meow, something fell out. Woof. Obtained a finger. It's a Yakuza's pinky. Meow, gross woof. <laughs> Could this be a clue to something? It's an upgrade part, right? Somebody's gonna have pinky powers. Ah, that's it. <laughs> okay. So what about, uh, does this affect something in here now that Rico's here then? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. What about uh, Kana? No, also. Maybe now Renmaru's got something to say to me? <laughs> Found that? Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing any of the dummies would be able to swap out their hand for this. All right, fine. Pass it to me. You sure? Well, you came specifically to show me, right? So, does it look natural on me? Doesn't feel out of place at all. Are you still able to feel it? I, I can. Jeez, you don't have to touch it. <laughs> It said steam spray hand, so I'm sure I can do something along those lines. Steam spray? You probably need moisture for that, you know? Moisture? Oh, all right. I'll come with. Let's find a way to use this. Okay. Oh, and maybe this too? A, a finger? I found this in the police box. Uh, it might be another part you can use? You're not just foisting your junk on me, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Can you blow up? Well, I guess we need moisture. Where the hell would there be moisture here? <laughs> Nowhere. I don't know. Buttons don't even spawn right. Someone downstairs must have made it unusable. 
Okay, where else could we go? Oh, to freaking wash the paint off of this thing. That's that's really what we're gonna do with it. That's kind of <laughs> reductive, but hey. Paint will come off of wiping and rubbing. If I can read this, so there's some way to remove it. Yeah, shoot it with water. <laughs> it says wash out above, careful when you're alone. Yeah. Okay, never mind then. Maybe Ran Maru's got some colorful commentary about this. Nope. <laughs> uh, nah, here? Yeah, same stuff. Where the hell is the re moisture? Whoops, I minimized the game. You can see that, but I did somehow. Hi, Sokka. Ooh. Sure. I forget what was on here, but. Right, it was the scientists that became them. Okay, Renmaru, Renmaru has no colorful commentary on anything, so obviously we just got to use him for his, his handy abilities. Get it? Ha ha ha. Okay, can't do anything with any of that. Uh, where have I not been then? The library? <laughs> the library sure ho hope doesn't have moisture. That'd be bad. My head is sort of overheating. No, kind of no. Uh, I think I've been everywhere now, right? <laughs> Very helpful. Five is written on the wall. No, that won't be helpful. Sure, why not? Did I do that? Did I do this one yet? Blue one, red six, yellow zero. I don't think I have. So that's a good thing to keep in mind at least. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Somebody help me. <laughs> moisture. Where would there be moisture? To fill up Ranmaru. Maybe in here there's like a, a sink? I don't remember seeing one. That's why I came in here the first time, but I didn't see anything. Seems it can also be used as a drink machine. Though it consumes charge from the battery. And... <laughs> I don't think I really have a choice on this one, do I? Admire, drink some water. B b what's this about now? I mean, if we use this, it'll use a battery from the charger. Fine by me. You get an idea, don't you? Get a motor. Well, I'll have a ginger ale. Only sweet drinks for you, eh? Admire down to ginger ale. Dang, more acidic than I had expected. So, now what? Now maybe you can use the steam spray. Oh, got it. Uh, let's try it out. But it's not like we should just casually use it. If a good use comes along, we'll try it then. Okay. Now I can go to the classroom and wash the paint off the thing, right? The consent form. Is there any way to know what that painted over part says? I wonder. Dubious consent form. Try the steam spray. And Mario, the steam spray. But, uh, you want to? Devote myself to Asanaro for granting my wish. Hmm. It says, I agree to devote myself to Asanaro for granting my wish. What's that mean? 
Devote myself to Asanaru? What a complex metaphor. It's gotta be that. It means exactly that. Giving yourself up to Asanaru. You could take it to mean I won't complain even if you play with my life in a death game. In exchange for just a single wish? That ain't possible. No way we signed something like that. This invitation to the death game. Then what about me? Beanie Man pressured me to sign this, saying mine would be the last one. Then why am I here? Uh, what if... What would happen if I wished to put an end to the death game? Uh, what? Would it all end? At the cost of my life? D don't think of any stupid ideas. There'd be no point. I wouldn't want that. It's just an idea, really. But if that were possible... It felt like a cold wind blew through a crack in my heart. The crack where Joe used to be. I've come all this way, constantly thinking that I wanted to live, that I didn't want to die. And yet, now the opposite feeling tugs at my heart. If I died, it'd be easier. If I died, everyone could be safe. No. No, I can't feel this way. It's no different from giving in. Let's go, Renmaru. I have to get away from this place. Hey, Sarah? What is it? Hurry! I... I don't want you to die, Sarah. Renmaru? So... Um... What do you think about... Winning? Huh? What's he saying all of a sudden? Maple told us, right? Winning. What does he mean? Betraying everyone and... Don't get such strange ideas, Renmaru. I want us all to escape together. Yeah, of course. We'll all escape together. But... Is that really going to be possible? Renmaru? Look, I... When I'm with you, Sarah... I feel more and more like I want to live. The more serious I get, the more afraid I am to die. Seeing Kuramata, I realized I don't want to die now. That's the same for all of us. Which is why you have to win, right? If I want to get out of this alive, all I have to do is take you out, Sarah. But I can't do something like that. On the other hand, I'm sure I could kill anyone else. Listen, Tara. Win for me. Renmaru. Get a grip! We're all allies! We've overcome hardship together! Rico, Kyutaro, they protected us, even as they were hurt! When Gein and Connor were taken by suspicion, they still believed in us and gave us courage. So never say something like that ever again. Sorry. I'm such a piece of shit. Another new sprite. <laughs> I had no right to be your friend. No, making it all about you. <laughs> oh. The more you want to live, the more real death feels. I'm sure Renmaru had given up at first. It was me who gave him hope. But I can't make a choice like that. I... This is no time to be crying. We'll all return together. I don't intend to abandon anyone. Renmaru, that includes you. Oh, how boring. I thought you'd finally wake up, Miss Sarah. But alas, you're still the dependable leader. Beanie Man, he saw all of that? <laughs> Renmaru, get back in here and spray him with ginger ale. Boy, the chaos one little piece of paper can cause. <laughs> What's so funny? I mean, I had everyone sign this form to have them participate in the death game, see? So of course, I wouldn't accept put an end to it. Though for the record, I'd be fine granting you a wish that gave you an advantage. Why am I here? <laughs> Beanie Man, why am I here? I never signed that consent form, and yet... 
The fact you're here... Must be because someone wished so, surely? Well, never mind that. I really think it's a shame, Miss Sarah. I wanted you... I so wanted you to wake up. To see the awakening of the ultimate Sarah Chidulin. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, so you don't even know? My miscalculation was having Joe take part. What? I was opposed from the beginning, you know, to this silly balancing business. I, I can't see where you're going with this. Miss Sarah, what do you think those victory percentages you've been carrying around are for? Mm-hmm. Yeah, those. Did you think we were placing bets? Keen's a dark horse! One million yen! Like that. So then... How much did you bet? <laughs> Are you data-obsessed or what? Disgusting. <laughs> the funny joke. This death game must be a holy event. Everyone must be given a fair chance. A way to survive. In other words... The victory rates had to be made equal. Equal? Exactly! In short, you were assigned handicaps. So the weak were given helpers. Balancing the victory percentages. That's interesting. So, Sarah and Joe, because they were just regular high school students, well, whoever was probably Sarah, got Joe as a helper. And Rika, or sorry, now got Mishima. And Kana got her sister. And those helpers weren't included as like potential candidates, right? They were just participants. Back to that whole thing. So for that stupid reason, you'll pay for this. You made us kill each other for your selfish project. And based on nonsense winning percentages, you brought in completely unrelated people. Why? Why? Even without doing that, didn't I have the highest percentage? Why? <laughs> That's why it's curious. You see, Miss Sarah, when you have an ally, you're weaker. What? <laughs> I remember it. In the world... In the worlds without Joe, you were a truly terrifying sight to behold. A stronger survival instinct than anyone else. A heart that would never give in. Such resourcefulness, strategy, and cunning. You used any means to survive. And the most terrifying part? Is how you used the deaths of others. After killing them, You'd shed tears and tug at everyone's heartstrings. Like Mishima seeing So die. That's crazy. Such tremendous charisma, even though you had zero intent of self-sacrifice. As the AI test continued, even I got shivers down my spine. <laughs> if I could have met you like that. Ah. <laughs> But hey, to have to obey the will of the organization. I'm an adult, after all. Well, Miss Sarah, did Joe do a good job dragging you down? <laughs> it, it can't be. Are you saying Joe was killed for a reason like that? I'll kill you! Nice. Get him. Now get him! Hey! You think you can win? You're not getting away with this! This isn't the kind of method I want from you. Give them back! And Joe, everyone! By everyone, you mean... Now? And Kai? The people whose names aren't on the list, they had no connection to anything, right? And you used them like toys, for the most worthless of reasons! We're all just, we were all just living regular lives, giving our all to live normally. <sighs> oh dear, you really have gotten too kind. 
But that's not you, is it, Sarah? You're far more deceptive, more despicable, and demonic, and bewitching, and supreme! Go back to the way you were then, Sarah! Stop it! Huh? You're still here? Say, did you really intend to kill me just now? Why, that's strange. If you did that, you'd die, remember? Shut up. You're human garbage. I'll kill you, bastard. <laughs> Are you going to drag down Miss Sarah, too? What? Not again. My collar. It's the tag finale. Gotta touch someone or you're gonna die. I'll have you disappear, too, Renmaru. For Miss Sarah's sake. And give me a more good show, won't you, Miss Sarah? Wait! Damn it, Beanie Man! Let's go after him, Sarah. Oh man. Joe. He. He was brought along with me. The worst. It happened for the worst reason. Friend Maru? Shoot! I have to go after him! <laughs> and we'll be doing that next time. Alright, so my, uh, everybody is a doll theory has gone a little bit down. When, uh, Beanie Man was like, all oh, those worlds, I was like, hmm? <laughs> and then he was like, yeah, so, you know, the thing you were, that was like the biggest benefit to your theory of the participants and the candidates, here's why you're wrong. But that's fine. <laughs> it doesn't really matter to me that much. So are they really trying to, like, because the other option, right, it was, it was like one of two options. Either it's a group of scientists come cooperating, not competing, cooperating with uh, the survivor of the Hades game in order to recreate um, his lost love through making a doll of her or by molding Sarah into her through trauma. And it looks like it's leaning that way, like the latter at this point. But I guess we won't know until we see the end ourselves. So, uh, if you want to do that, leave a like. I don't know. That'll do, that'll make a new video appear totally. Uh, <laughs> and if you want uh, you want to keep up with this series, it's best to subscribe. After all, also if you just like my goofy voices, <laughs> I really like. Uh, I found through doing this that voicing villains is my uh, my favorite thing ever. <laughs> doing this whole YouTube thing, yeah. The heroes are always so calm, and their voices are like this, and then it's like, ah, I'm Beanie Man! <laughs> you know, it's much more fun. Anyway, have a good day or something. Bye.